So welcome to this Treeless Friday video. I decided to do this one outdoors um, just as an experiment to see how this goes. But uh, this is my third video in the series on approaching women. And uh, this was meant to be a four part series. It might turn into a five part series, we don't know. But in the last two videos, I really covered, you know, setting your commitment, your practice, two to three approaches a day, getting your journal together, all that stuff. So make sure to check out those previous two videos if you haven't checked them out already. I also talked about indirect approaching um, versus direct approaching and the differences between them and said, you know, really work with what is going to give you the most bang for your buck. You know, talking to a lot of people every day and practice socializing is going to help you so much with developing your uh, skill set in this area. You're going to grow quite a bit by doing this. So I want to encourage that. That's where we do the stops and the highs and all that kind of stuff. So get out there, do lots of stops, lots of highs practice 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 but the one two or three approaches that you do a day actually two or three is going to be with women you're very attracted to that's what you're focusing on so kind of let that sink in a little bit now this week i was going to start talking about what the dating community calls qualifying women you know once you walked up you approached you stepped into some tension you created a nice container you're you're being present with her she's like oh this guy's interesting then you've got to start to what they call qualifying. Um, another way to look at it is testing, you know, testing a woman. And I really want to get into that and, and really understanding your values and why you're doing this at a deep level is, has nothing to do with a trick or a technique you're trying to do to her, but it's more about something you're doing for yourself to make sure that you're dating the right type of woman for you, that you're not just out there trying to get anybody, but you're being picky, which makes you a more attractive man overall. But I'm going to hold off a week on that. I'm going to come to qualifying next week. We're going to come to qualifying. We're going to come to uh, getting phone numbers, possibly getting Insta dates, things like that. This week, I want to talk about one more aspect of communication that's really important when you first walk up to help you create tension, play with tension so that you can flirt a little bit so you can create that really nice connection. So what is this aspect? What is it that I want to talk about? This is really simple. It's push-pull. Last week, I talked about conversational skills a little bit. You know, I talked about the monitor incident the first time I really was conscious of this, where I said, wow, this is a really huge monitor. Oh my God, would you want to have a monitor like this? I think this is ridiculous. And we started a conversation naturally. Now, within that conversation, as you practice bantering and playing, there's going to be a push and a pull energy. And it's really important to understand this push-pull because nice guys, which is the bulk of the people usually watching my videos, tend to do a lot of pull. They don't push. And she'll say something like, uh, like oh, I'd, I'd like to have a monitor like that. Oh, yeah, I could see why. Yeah, it would be cool to have, I guess, you know. And they tend to start agreeing too much. They'll go up and give a compliment. You know, you have really pretty eyes. Oh, my God, I love your dress. They never do a push. They never push back. They never create any tension. And that's what we want to talk about. So in this video, I want you to start to practice this week push-pull. What does push-pull feel like? What does push-pull look like? What is push-pull? And push-pull is simply the practice of being able to, in a playful way, in a fun, open-hearted way, embodiment, you got to open your heart, open your, your throat, be able to push back to tease somebody, to have fun with them, it's playful. And a pull is when you pull them back in. You know what, you have really beautiful eyes. That's a pull, right? And saying, you know what, you look like trouble. You look like an utter pain in the ass to me. And that's a, that's a push, right? But you look like trouble, but you know what? I like trouble, push and a pull. And so these energies start to become playful in communication when you get comfortable doing them. They do require some calibration and some naturalization. You gotta learn to relax into them so you can have a powerful sense of communication when you do this. And um, they work really well. So uh, what I want you guys to do this week is I want you to start inserting push poles into your communication, into your conversation, into your conversation skills. So when you do, uh, if you do any stops or highs, definitely insert it there. Practice it with your friends. And I want you to start to do it with your interactions. Just try one or two push pulls and particularly the pushes, play with the pushes and see if you can get the calibration right. Now I gotta warn you, if you get the calibration wrong, the girl might look at you funny. Like if you walk up and you sound all serious and, and you sound angry and you're like, you look like trouble. She's gonna be like, whoa, what's wrong with you, dude? And that's gonna be a problem. So what we wanna work on 
is real authentic communication. So as you walk up, and you say something like, and just practice this with a friend. Get a friend together, do it in the mirror, do it with a video. Say, you look like trouble. And start to have that coy kind of playful look on your face. Uh, feel a sense that you're relaxing in the heart. If you haven't done the heart walks, you know, do a sense of, uh, of that vulnerability practice where you're learning to feel your heart, you're learning to feel your playfulness. Um, you look like a goofball, that's another push. You look like a dork, that's another push. This is the playground talk, right? It's a great place to start. Oh, I can't believe you. Why would you do something like that? Oh, you know what? You would do that, wouldn't you? These are all pushes, and this is what I want you to get used to. So what I want you to do to practice this this week is A, you can do it with a friend. B, you can do it on video and watch yourself and see how does it feel? Does he feel like he's having fun and playing? Or does he feel like he's serious? And, uh, and then I want you to start to do it everywhere, internally, uh, or kind of externally. So as I walk down the street, and this is part of why I'm outside, uh, I'll pick people, I'll pick th situations, I'll pick things going on around me, and then just do a push and a pull and start rolling from there, okay? So as I walk around, uh, I'm, I might see, see this person over here that's, that's working on their house and doing all this work, and I could immediately go, okay, what's a pull, what's a push? Oh, I can see, man, you got an amazing garage. It's so beautiful. It's perfectly organized as I look at his garage, right? You got a, you got a great sense of organization. Well, that's a pull. A push might be, dude, I can see your, your garage is perfect. You must be super anal, right? <laughs> no, no, I used to be anal too. Don't take it personal, man. You see, there's a poke in it, right? And so you, if you do that all day long, and that's how I got really good at them, I just walk up and down the street. I would see somebody doing something. And in my head or out loud, preferably out loud, I would say a push and a pull, not to them, I just practice and I'd see if I could get that sense of appreciation and joy while I'm doing it. So what's happening is through my eyes, I'm looking at the person and I'm saying, I like you, you're cool, as I push on them a little bit. And that's where that sense of, as I look at a girl and I'm like, uh, you know what, you're a dork. You're such a goofball. Or let's take an old, the old concept of a neg. The neg concept in, uh, in old pickup coaching was a simple principle was that i'm going to knock her down a peg or two her self-esteem so she so she realizes she's not as powerful well what if you change the the mentality of that a bit you're not knocking her down at all what you're doing is you're playing with her you're teasing her you know you're having fun with her i remember this girl walked in one time when i was with my buddy and she had this hair that was all up here it was a big big mop on the top of her head that she had done into some hairstyle and he looked at it, he goes, oh, I like your new hairstyle. And she went, thank you. And he goes, did you get a building permit with that? That would be considered a neg. But in reality, he's smiling. He's got an open heart. She's like, oh, you're such a dick. But she loves it. They're playing. It's kind of, it comes back to the, the uh, playground talk again. Um, you know, saying like, hey, you know, it's a beautiful sweater. I think my grandma has one just like it. There's a pole. It's a beautiful sweater. Push. And you can see it there. I want you to practice these. And I want you to see if you can get off one push and pull every day for the whole week. And if you can start to nail these push and pulls and you see the effect of them, it's gonna have a radical shift on your ability to flirt and your ability to play. If you practice them throughout the day, whenever you're in a crowd, just sit in a coffee shop and write down pushes and pulls, say pushes and pulls out loud, sit with your buddy and say pushes and pulls you could say to other people. Practice doing it back and forth with your friends it won't take long before your brain gets it and starts to play. And the only thing that can go off again is calibration. And that's gonna come with practice. Watching yourself on video, working with your friend, uh, is going to allow you to really start to play with calibration. You know, making sure you're lighthearted, you're not serious, you're not angry when you're doing it. And that's gonna come with practice. And so I'm gonna invite you to do these push pulls this week. Go out and try to get that one into each interaction this week and start to just journal and write down what comes up and release on it. Let go. This will supercharge your interaction. Now, if you remember last week, I talked about the girl that was at the uh, restaurant that I was teasing about the quarter. She had him stuck in the wrapper. She was looking down and what did I do? I did a push. As she's looking down, I opened my heart, I smiled, I felt really good. I relaxed into my body and I said, uh, as t in a teasing way, I said, hey, you know what? I don't have all day, you have to hurry up. And then when she looked up, first she started to get a little nervous, but when she looked up and saw that I was playing, there was that little play in my voice and a little play in my facial expression especially, and she saw it and put it all together, she started to play back. She started to say, well, maybe I just won't give you your food, tease me back. 
And then we went back and forth a little bit and then she gave me a free drink. And from that point on, I actually went on a date with that girl. Uh, everything grew from there. So again, I wanna invite you into this energy of push-pull. Go out and practice it, practice it everywhere. If you can, sit down in a coffee shop, just like I told you last week, journal pushes and pulls with different people in the coffee shop. Then practice saying them out loud. Watch, uh, watch them on video if you have time. Do them with a friend, these are options. But if you do them every day, if you spend just a little bit of time throughout the day with everybody you see, and even if it takes a few minutes to come up with them, you're doing the push pulls, getting them out, playing with them, what's gonna happen is that by the end of the week, you'll naturally start popping them out. And then as soon as you start to naturally pop some out, then I want you to start using them with people. And you can, you can use one almost like a routine a little bit. I, when I first started out, I just called girls trouble. It was a good push. I'd walk up to girls, go, oh, you look like trouble. Why? Because I didn't know what else to do. So it was a routine, but I'm gonna give you the, the key here. What made the routine work was the fact that I was having fun with it, that I enjoyed saying those words. I wouldn't say banter lines and cocky funny lines that I didn't enjoy, that didn't cause me to smile, that didn't cause me to laugh. I would only say ones that made me laugh. I wouldn't do them as a routine. I wouldn't do them over and over again um, in the same way. I would change them. I'd always keep making them my own. I keep playing with them. I keep cultivating them. So this week, work on that. And then next week, we're going to get back to this and we're going to start playing with the idea of qualification. And between now and next week, I want you to think of your values. What do you really value in a woman? What do you value in a relationship? What do you value in dating? What do you value in sex? Because that's going to be a big part of understanding qualification, which is a form of testing, which is a form of really figuring out if this is the right girl for you. And so we got to have a deep talk about this because this is what's really going to make everything work. Once you go in and you have a really good approach, you connect, you start to play, you have a little fun. Then we have to get into the real conversation where she figures out if she really likes you. And that's part of you qualifying is to help her figure out if she likes you and you figure out if you really like her or if you're just looking at her because she's got a good ass, you know, and that's what it comes down to. So uh, hopefully you like this video. Get out there, start practicing your push pulls, start working on your, uh, your approaches, get out there, do your, your commitment, stick to your commitment, two or three approaches a day. Make sure to comment in the video. I definitely want to hear what you have to say. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you haven't liked already, uh, hit smash that like button if you really like the video. Make sure to share. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Remember, only the confident really live.